Rodney Milk. Yo, you guys think I could do a nose slide of this ledge while I do the nose slide inputs on my controller at the same time? <laughs> I just realized I need my arms. <laughs> so much more than I thought I did. Let me try and holly. Okay, that's pretty hard. No arms. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh, that was the one, baby. Come home. Take a little break for a second here. Grab some water, kind of reset, and then uh, let's play some Skater XL, though. Oh. Uh. Dual PC setup, boys. Just updated on my PS4. Multiplayer is here. Can anybody confirm this? Check uh, check the social medias. Is it actually out? I can't. I don't believe you guys. I still don't believe it. Little Wayne is in the game too. I hate you guys. <laughs> guys, I, I believe you so hard. I believe all of you guys. I just don't believe that Easy Day actually updated the game. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to believe. Make a video how to back up your game. Um, I think if I get back to my house before the update today, I don't know when it's gonna happen. But if I can get home, I'll I'll show you guys live on stream how to do it. <coughs> First put on a scooter. You guys are ready for that. Not quite yet. My, my scooter debut hasn't uh it'll happen one day. Not today though. My whole plan was to move over to scoot eventually, you know. Scooter die, quite honestly, you know. Someone trying to learn a trick for hours is cool as hell. I love seeing people try tricks for hours and they, they don't land it, it looks sketchy. By the time you land it, it sticks with you. It's like a life lesson. It's it, not only do you learn the trick, but you learn how to persevere at just trying something that's difficult. And it, that translates to everything in life. That's why I love skating, because it's such a hard thing to kind of master and I have not mastered it, but I love trying because, you know, it's, Something I, I can put towards any aspect in life, you know? If you stick with it, it pays off and I, I see it like on a daily basis here with not only myself, but other people. Like I've seen people come here, learn stuff, like they were, maybe they rode a scooter before, maybe they rode nothing. And then the next couple months or years, like they're doing crazy stuff and they love it. They, I, I don't think I've ever met a person that really regretted learning something, you know, skateboarding wise. The only regrets that I see are people that gave up. This morning when I rolled up actually, you guys didn't see her, but there was a a girl here this morning. It was just me and her. And when I first got here, it was kind of awkward because I wanted to go live right away. I wanted to like talk to you guys and show you guys the park and stuff. But we were, we were chatting. She's like, oh, it's my first time here. I saw the Olympics. Last, like she, she's told me this yet yeah, th th this morning. She's, she saw the Olympics last night. She thought it was cool. She wanted to try it out. She came to the park here for the first time ever. So I was the first person she interacted with at a skate park. Like her inspiration came from the, came from the Olympics last night. Cause she was learning how to skate. It was cool. It's cool to see. But at the same time, I see her, I see her like hesitation, but it's all about having fun. And that's how I met your mother. All right. So let's get out of here. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Like it's just cool because because Skateboarding would have blew up so much more if it was an actual event with people actually attending. They had room for 7,000 people to, just, to sit there and watch it, and it would have been way bigger. They still had like live coverage, and it was still decently big, but it was super cool to like for me to roll up here and see someone like you know within 12 hours of the park skating happening, someone that just started skating because they saw the Olympics. That was so sick. And especially for girls too, like young, younger people, it's, it's one thing because like a lot of young people, they have the pressure of like their friends to do things. So a lot of people ride scooters and bikes and skateboards. They do what their friends do. So a lot of people scooter because it's easy to get into and, um, their friends do it, you know, they want to fit in. And it, it's cool to see somebody stepping out of their comfort zone to try something that's really hard, especially if like they're younger by themselves, if they're a female, it's just like not as common. It's cool. I don't know. Love it. The brand new Hyundai. It's a Nissan. 8,000 horsepower. 8 million pounds of force. Just lock the keys in it. What? 
No. Yo, what up? Showered, man. There hasn't been a post yet on social media. I don't know if there is one. I'm not the PR person, by the way. I don't know. I don't represent Easy Day Studios. I'm just guessing for you guys. I'm the, I'm the mouthpiece for you guys. I'm just trying to gather information from the chat, spit it back at you guys, and try to make sense of everything. That's all that's happening. I'm not an, an official dude. I don't know anything that you guys don't know. And here's a here's an example right here. Multiplayer on PS4 is fire. And this is a clip from PS4, I'm assuming. I can't even get in the game. Keeps crashing on Xbox. Oh! Like it should work and I want it to work. Uh, just give it some time because you know you guys know all multiplayer games, even AAA games like Call of Duty, when they release, like every game that has multiplayer is, it doesn't work on day one. All right, hopefully they can fix that with a patch, but everybody's rushing to jump online. It's going to make things hard to get online, but the game shouldn't crash your system though. They should patch that really quick. All right. So what I can take a look at is the mod browser. I think there might be stuff there, Yeah, there is new stuff here. Magic grips, minimalist series, trucks and t-shirts by uh, Reaper trucks, trippy drop, rhythmic skateboards. Got a couple of foil decks. This is sick. <laughs> Milky gear. This is a fun project I had in mind for a while. Milky is one of my top, one of the top streamers for Skater Excel and dedicated to bring high quality content to the community of the game. Man, I really appreciate those kind of words. <laughs> uh, that's why he is the first appearance in Fern's Warehouse guest series. Yeah, this pack is on console right now. I like that used deck a lot. The shirts are pretty sick too, honestly. I, like, I don't know how he did those graphics. If he hand did those, those are some nice trucks. Fade eights, those are sick shoes. I used to wear those. Got waffle grip, we got some more sticky grip. Atlantic skateboards. Pivotal skateboards, those are sick. CNVS, Boba. So far, I don't know if there's gonna be more. It's this is new. This is new. And the top three on the left are new. I'm still I'm still playing on the old beta though, guys. So this actually isn't the update that I'm playing on. So so I've shown you guys what's new in the mod browser because that's shared across all platforms. So no new maps. A bunch of gear so far. I think this is being added actively. I haven't seen any posts on social media quite yet. Xbox is still having issues. So I, I don't know, guys. I'm trying to read you guys and see what the what the consensus is. I want to see that everybody's having fun playing the game if you can play it. Because I see people that can't play it yet. Kind of waiting to see more, hear more news today. I don't really know much um, about what's happening. I just want to see what's going to happen because it seems to be happening as we speak. The updates rolling out across all platforms or across Xbox and PS4. It's a bit staggered though. And there hasn't been an update on, on social medias yet. Oh yeah, I have the Milky decks downloaded. I can go to my character, custom deck, mod IO, Burns Warehouse, custom Milky deck. That's sick that we can like shed the same gear. It's going to be a confusing day. It's going to be a confusing week. Yes, Lucas, mods work on PC. Um, the P PC hasn't received an update yet though. So that's the reason why. When PC gets an update, they probably won't work until they get updated. Uh, but currently, I'm playing on version 1.2. This is the beta that's been around for a few months now. Cross-platform? Uh, nobody knows yet. Nobody really knows. I don't think it does right now. I think everybody here in this lobby is from PC. If you're from PC, come down here and dance. Yeah, we're all PC players. <laughs> Why didn't Skixel post anything on social medias? I have no idea. I, I just, I don't have any connection with them officially. I'm just a regular dude. My assumption is the fact that everybody in my chat cannot get the game to work on their Xbox is probably why they haven't announced it yet because if they were to announce it officially and hype it up on, on social medias, it would bring a lot of more people to their Xbox only to be uh, disappointed that it doesn't work yet. So there wasn't any update on PC yet, but what I'm gonna show you guys on PC is how to save your mods and save your life. All right, so this is how you make a copy of your game. What you would do first is probably follow my modding tutorial. You wanna actually install your mods first. You don't have to, but I would recommend it. So if you have mods installed in the game, you're good to go. You wanna right click your game in Steam, all right? Go to manage and then browse local files. 
this will take you to where the game is located on your computer. So you can make a copy of this and run it external from Steam. So you can have two copies of Skater XL at all times. You'll have an updated one on Steam that will run the multiplayer, and you'll have a version that you copied from an old build that will have all working mods. You'll never have to worry about updating. Steam, Steam apps, common Skater XL. It takes you right to the place you need to be. You need to go back one folder though. So click, click the common. Because the, the Skater XL folder is the whole package that you need. You need everything. So this PC, local disk C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common. And Skater XL, that entire folder. Right click it, copy it, go to your PC. And you know, this This is where the Skater XL is on right now. And Steam, it's on this drive. But I have two other hard drives or two other SSDs that I can put it on. So I think I have it on this one. So this SSD. See right here? I already have it there, so I'm not going to actually paste it. But if you right click and paste, I could do it. It will paste that version of Skater XL into this drive, which is this right here. There's a Skater XL folder. I've already done this. All right, so that's that's it. You're done. After you have that, you're done. So now this is what the what it will look like. You have you can have a different version on Steam than you have than you have uh, on the folder you just uh, copied. How do you run it? So you open up Skater XL. You see the Skater XL application right there? That's how you run it. You can double click that. And it, you can also see here too in the folder, if you had mods installed, if you if you had them installed already before you copy the game, you'll have this folder up here full of your mods. They'll already be in the game. So you should see the Unity Mod Manager open up like this. All your mods are green still. They're all going to be working. Nothing changed. And I load it in. My gear that I changed my character into actually changes across both games because your map folder your gear folder are going to stay the same. It's going to be shared across both games. So your maps will be in both. You don't have to move your maps. You don't have to move your gear. They're going to be a shared across both games. <laughs> in your in your app data folder, like how you used to change to Tiago Pants and stuff, it's going to also share that folder too. Yeah, they use the same player file. Yeah, I just realized that. So whatever you change into on the one branch, you'll be wearing on the other branch. If you're using Excel gear modifier gear on one branch and it's not supported on the other one, you probably have invisible body parts and you have to change your clothing. So right now I have two versions of Skater XL open at the same time. Two different versions running different mods. So this is version 1.1. In the menu, there's no multiplayer. These are all my mods, a big list. It's totally different versions of what I have in the other game. If I go like this and switch over here, this is a version 1.2. There's multiplayer in the menu. My mods are different versions of what I had in the other game. And I could I could play both games. So that was the copy that I made yesterday. And over here I have the beta version. You guys didn't see me switch versions of the game in this in this tutorial, this video, but I did this yesterday. So I have the beta version on Steam. I can launch it from Steam. That being said though, the, the multiplayer branch that I just ran just now, that's not the update from today. There hasn't been an update on PC quite yet. I'm just getting you guys prepared for the update because here's the thing. If there is an update, and there will be eventually, it doesn't mean that there's one today, but if there is an update coming in the future, it's going to remove the ability to download that version of Skater XL that you just copied over. So those mods won't be supported by these versions of Skater XL. So the, the main reason why we did that is to pr preserve your mods. Because every time Skater XL updates, the mods have to be updated. And if the modders haven't updated their mods yet, they won't work yet. So just to preserve your mods, so you can play the game and stuff, make a copy. And you're good to go forever. Yeah, you can put it on your desktop. Yep. Uh, you could put it literally, literally anywhere on your computer as long as it isn't in the Steam folder. All right, guys. Thanks for being here, guys. There's lots of people here right now. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, we did the IRL stream today. I'll be live tomorrow, probably. I think I'll go live tomorrow, all right? And if not, YouTube video for sure. So there's going to be some stuff happening tomorrow. All right, see you there, okay?